going. Today I'm going to show you how I created this camera gun stock thing, which is a great way to take incredibly stable and entertaining photos and turn a relatively mundane activity like bug photography into a testosterone fueled adventure sport. Before we go any further, I need to let you know that I can't take any credit for coming up with this artistic masterpiece. That honor goes to this man. I don't know who this man is or what happened in his life to make him this confident, but I think I'm in love. Also, it turns out that I'm not the only one that fell in love with this man on TikTok. The Soviets back in the 50s also came up with their own rendition of his device called the Photo Sniper, but mine's better. So let's make it. The first thing we're going to need is some wood. I bought the second most sustainable wood in the store. As the first one was so sustainable they refused to cut the tree down. You know what mate? Change my mind. I'm not going to do it. Now I'm tracing around this other piece of unimportant wood, which I'm not afraid to horribly disfigure and create the outline of our gun stock. I'm going to call it already and say that that is the best looking stock in the house. Sorry Campbell. Then I cut it out using as many wrong tools as I could. Once I got through that ordeal, it's time to start my most hated part of the process, filing. Ah, oh, g'day Tony. Oh, how are you working today? Oh yeah mate, I just had some last minute files to file. I've just been so, so busy. You always wear a hard work at work. Thanks mate, thanks mate. No, I just gotta... So if you being in your house, okay. right. see you later. Oh, uh, one more thing, Tony. Are you coming to our office trivia this Thursday? Wouldn't miss it. And there you go. That was much easier than I thought. I'm not as bad as a filer as I remember. Now I'm just going to sweep the wood and sawdust outside because once they are past this line, they are no longer my responsibility. Then sand it all down. Now I'm just going to leave it in the sand for as long as this joke is funny which isn't very long. Then I was going to buy some wood stain to make it sexy and dark, but I realized I was pretty good at staining wood already. So I decided to look up if you can stain wood with coffee, and it turns out you can. All you need to do is replace your water with vinegar and your milk with steel wool, and that is one tasty cup of coffee. Now you just spill your coffee over the wood until it changes color, and there you go. And I'm not really happy with the colour, but I'm going to pretend I like it for the sake of this video. This is how the photo sniper works. I have a remote trigger attached here, which plugs into the camera. Then the tripod mount gets fastened to the camera and to the wooden stock with these corner plates, which you can screw into the side of the wood. I also couldn't resist buying this rifle bipod, which means I am probably on a national security watch list now. Australia is pretty strict with anything weapon related. I once got a $200 fine for finger gun pointing in a train station. And now that I've attached the camera to the top, it is time to test it out to see how secure it is. And look at this thing, it isn't going anywhere, it even works upside down. And I'm going to say it again, best stock in the house. And all jokes aside, this thing is actually pretty amazing for taking photos as you can hold the camera incredibly still against your shoulder and if you need, you can support it with the bipod. Also, switch it to full auto and it sounds terrifying. And I know you don't believe me that it is good for photography, so here is an example of some of the macro shots I took using this device. I actually just really want someone to show my bug photos too. So, here is a little jumping spider that I thought was cute until I saw it capture this fly and dissolve its insides and suck its gooey bits out. Then, there's this lizard who was way too eager to show me his good side. And this froggo, who had the most amazing eyes. And then this guy here, who I'm pretty sure is a new species, so I get to name him. 
So I'm going to name him after one of my Patreons. And congratulations, John Young. You are now a bug. And then this gentleman here, who's just trying to help a lady out. And my shift key, after I spilled tomato sauce on it. And you know, macro photography is pretty awesome. It really makes you grateful that bugs aren't the same size as us. Like, look at this guy. He looks like he could beat me up and steal all eight of my wallets. But yeah, there you go. Get out there and take some super stable photos. Just, um, stay away from banks, obviously. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, please subscribe and check out my other videos. And thanks again to my Patreons. You are beautiful people.